Okay, economic students. Uh, this lesson is 5.4, which are nonprofit organizations. So we've talked about sole proprietor partnerships, franchises, corporations. Uh, now another one you're familiar with are nonprofit organizations. Now, uh, we're gonna talk about the different types of co-ops that tend to be nonprofit and what are the pur uh, purposes of having a nonprofit. Um, so when you have a cooperative, like sometimes you've probably heard of farmers co-ops, things like that. Um, it's an organization that's owned and operated by a group of individuals for a shared benefit. So I always hear my mother-in-law, she lives in Goodlesville, she's got a farm, talk about the farmers co-op. Um, so they are owned and operated to help farmers, farmers co-op. Uh, we've got consumer service and producer co-ops. Uh, consumer cooperative, uh, this would be a retail outlet that uh, sells uh, to consumers that are members of the co-op at reduced prices. When I think of this, a great example is Sam's Club or Costco, because you have to be a member in order to purchase there. <coughs> Excuse me. And you get really, really good deals on stuff. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I know I shop Sam's Club all the time. And yeah, I find stuff really, really, really cheap. A service co-op. A good example of that would be like a credit union. Uh, there's certain services you can get from a credit union that you can't get from other banks. Uh, you can get uh, quicker, quicker answers on being qualified for a loan. You can get better interest rates, things like that. Uh, producer cooperatives, uh, this would be like an agricultural marketing cooperative. So you know how you see the commercials for milk, it does the body good. And, uh, the cows with the cheese and uh, Idaho potatoes, things like that. Uh, so that's a co-op that does those in those commercials uh, to where it just promotes milk in general, not necessarily purity milk, Publix milk, Kroger milk, all the, you know, all the different dairies, but just milk in general, go buy milk. Um, so what is a nonprofit? And a nonprofit is an institution that it's gonna run much like a business, but the whole purpose of the business is not to make money. It is to provide a service. So a hospital is a good example. A hospital is not there to make a profit. A hospital is there to take care of people when they're sick. A library is there to, to give you access to books, uh, not to make a profit. Um, so, Professional organizations, this is a nonprofit that works to improve the image, working conditions, or skill level of people. So sometimes you've got nonprofits that uh, teach people job skills, or maybe they go into uh, certain industries where working conditions are bad, or certain areas of a city maybe that are impoverished to help those people. Uh, business associations, this, these would be nonprofit groups to promote promote the collective business interests. Uh, I know they have like shop local days, shop small business days. Uh, the small business association would be a business association trying to help uh, the small mom and pops versus the Walmarts. Trade association, these are gonna promote interest of a particular industry. Uh, so maybe it's something about promoting uh, plumbing or uh, electricity. Um, I know I saw some, com some commercials for a while about making sure that your home was uh, treated for bugs. So uh, again, examples would be going to the zoo, a hospital. Uh, those main purposes are to provide you with the service rather than make a profit. However, they've got to, they've got to, I don't want to necessarily say make money. They're not trying to make millions off of you, but they're at least trying to stay in the black so that they're not losing money. Cause if they're not, if they're losing money, then they can't stay in business. But I mean, they, they at least need to break even. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, even though from the outside, these institutions might look different, uh, they're really not operated a lot differently than other businesses that are for profit. So one of our first co-ops co was a fire insurance cooperative with Ben Franklin and several of his friends. 
they took like a bank account and they pulled, uh, everybody put in about the same amount of money and they let it all draw interest. And the purpose was, you know, if one of their houses caught fire, then they could go and, and pull the money out of that account to rebuild. And that's basically what insurance is. We all pay in money and then the insurance company pays it out to whoever needs it at the time. Mm -hmm. So what would be the difference between a co-op and a cooperative? Here we've got this nice graph you know, showing us what to do. Um, you've got corporations are owned by stockholders, cooperative, uh, it's owned by the members, okay? Uh, you've got in a corporation, you got decisions made by that board of directors that the stockholders appoint and the board of directors then hires the CEO, if you remember that model. Uh, the members make the decisions in a co-op. When you're talking about corporation versus cooperative, uh, the corporation, they're there to make as much money as they can. They want to maximize profits. But when you're talking about a co-op, they're looking at, you know, how can you benefit your members? So credit union, how can you offer them loans with good interest rates? Or, you know, what are other things? I know some credit un unions have a Christmas club where they pull a certain amount out of your paycheck and let it build up so you can spend it for Christmas. Farmers co-op would be there to try to help farmers. Uh, both of them distribute a portion of the profits. Corporations would be to stockholders. Co-op would be to members. And the biggest difference, the huge one, is corporations pay taxes, co-ops don't. And if any of you have been a member of Sam's or, or Costco, I don't know, I've never been to Costco and bought, but Sam's used to ask, uh, is this for uh, personal or resale? Because if it's personal, then you pay taxes on it. If it's resale, then you're exempt from paying taxes. So a co-op is like that. It's a nonprofit. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. I promise it's not the virus. Um, but they have a tax-exempt form, so they do not pay taxes. Uh, income taxes, sales tax. Beach uh, is a nonprofit. We do not pay sales tax on anything that we use in the building for the purpose of teaching students. Um, so uh, nonprofits tend to function like, like normal business institutions, um, with the exception that they're not trying to, you know, maximize their income and minimize their profits so I mean minimize their expenses so that they make a profit uh, they do still try to minimize expenses because if they the more they can minimize expenses the less revenue that they need um, so uh, nonprofits don't have an owner they usually just have a board of directors you've got uh, museums, public schools, so Beach is one, you got the American Red Cross, hospitals, adoption agencies tend to be nonprofit, uh, religious uh, organizations, so your church, your synagogues, uh, mosques, uh, YMCAs, and, and there's many other groups. Uh, and most of your nonprofits are service oriented, very few are good oriented, uh, now, one I can think of that would probably be good oriented would be um, like the Nashville Rescue Mission, uh, where you are the soup kitchen, where you're feeding them food. <coughs> you are providing them with a the good, but you're also providing them with the service that you're feeding them. Uh, here's a picture of a hospital, and and again, they're not seeking to make money, but my gosh, if you've if you've ever gotten a bill, you you you'll think that they were. And that is the end of 5-4. So see you for 5-5. Five five.